problem with refrigerated trailers is that you cannot trust a fuel gauge. 50% of the time a fuel gauge doesn't work and you can very easily run out of diesel. Now, what can you do if you run out of diesel? Well, you can either call you can either call uh, recovery or you can do it yourself. What you basically have to do is prime the pump. We go into the back engine, not in the back engine, to the actual engine of the trailer and just open this up somehow. There you go. Just open this up. Here we have the actual engine of the refrigerator. This is how it looks like. I'm a bit too close to it, so but you get the picture. It's a full-size engine. I don't know how big it is. But anyway, uh, what we have to look at it is these two things. So this, if you turn it this way, this is the actual pump. So once you get fuel in the tank, you will need to unscrew this. This will pop up like this. And this is actually a pump, right? So you can use it just like that. And this thing, this thing is very important. You have to twist it uh, counterclockwise, right? Like this. And then just keep on pressing like a million times until fuel gets from um, from the tank to the uh, to the pump. Like you're doing it manually, right? So it's fully manual. So just press a million times on this pump. Once you're done, press this down again. Screw it back on. And do not forget this thing. And that's it. You're good to go. Now, some trailers don't have this thing. Uh, they do have um, another, another sort of thing, but um, maybe 90% of um, of the trailers have uh, this exact uh, same system. This is a carrier, by the way. So basically what you have to do is to fuel, um, is to prime the, the fuel pump. So very simple, twist this, twist it off, it will pop out. This will be the actual pump for, for repriming. Then this is, uh, I think, some kind of a vent or something like that. I don't know, but if you don't do that, you will not be successful. So uh, yeah, quick video today just a, a short how-to just in case you ran out of fuel hopefully you don't the uh, the only thing is that you have to press on this little pump for at least i would say 15 20 minutes so it's going to take forever but as soon as you feel it um, getting some resistance on the pump then you will know that the, the fuel is actually coming it's very close and it's maybe already in the pump um, and you're good to go but I would say about 15 20 minutes of continuous pressing on this uh, on this pump don't forget the, 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 the little vent as well and uh, yeah hope it helps uh, see you next time bye